Welcome to its traffic. In this video, we are going to learn how we can display this type of pattern in C programming. Here, uh, you'll, see, you'll see one right side triangle by using X. And here we are using for each row, one one for loop. So let us doing this. First, we'll declare a variable, integer variable, I. Second line, we'll write a for loop for here, I equal one, I less than equal to 1 then i plus plus this one to display just one star in the first row now here inside the for loop we'll write printf statement print printf and inside printf we'll write uh, x then semicolon will come out from the loop outside the loop we'll write again printf and here we'll write slash n again semicolon now let's run the program when we run the program we'll see only one x here now we'll copy this line four more times and we'll just change the stopping value so copying it and paste it one two three four times now we'll go to the top here first line it will be one only i less than equal to one next line it will be i less than equal to two third line it will be third for loop it will be three and here it will be four then next one it will be five now let's run the program you see now this uh, triangular right side that triangle pattern of x and now you see what program we have written here this is contain 31 line of codes but if we are going to use a nested for loop the same program we can do in very uh, less lines or statements so let us doing this this nested for loop is not given in book but it will be much easier than this so let us know how to do this first we'll save the program we'll give nested and loop dot c the first line will be always uh, the header file so include stdio dot h here we'll have the main function int main then bracket on and off semicolon uh, so not semicolon curly braces here we'll write, declare the variable int for the main loop i for the nested loop j okay this much only <coughs> now we are going to the main for loop for i equal one one from we are starting i less than equal to five then i plus plus this is the main for loop and inside this for loop we'll have another for loop four now we'll write here i equal one uh, not i here j j equal one only j will continue till i so j greater than or less than equal to i then j plus plus now inside this for loop we'll write one printf statement print f we'll just add here x now we'll come out from this for loop and we'll go to the main for loop inside the main for loop we'll write another printf statement and inside there we'll write slash n <clears throat> so we wrote here now after the main for loop will come out from the main for loop and we'll write here return zero so our program done now let's run the program so it display a pattern of 5x in right triangular shape so here how much line we took only 14 lines but in the first program which is given in the book by doing this we consume 
31 lines so this is the advantage of nested for loop by using nested for loop we can minimize the line number of lines of a program this one actually we are i don't know why this example is given in book this things uh, in the first program whatever x pattern is given this one we can do without for loop also and if we actually want to use for loop or loop for displaying the pattern it should be like this in minimum line by using nested loop or just by using loops now how this program works at first line you see i equal 1 i less than equal to 5 i plus plus first time it will go this way so first time when it will enter in the program the value of i is 1 after this for loop it will again enter into the next for loop here j is equal to 1 j less than equal to 1 so at first i value is 1 so here j less than equal to 1 only means at first time the inside for loop will run only one time so it will display the x once when the x value will i value will be 2 then this nested for loop will be run two times then the x will display two times as soon when it will come to the fifth number fifth number of times then the x will display in five times and at last when the value of i will be 6 it will exit from the loop now suppose we need number of uh, we don't know the number of rows it should be entered by user then how we'll do is do this this we'll take one more variable as n and we'll take input of n printf here we'll write enter number of row After writing this, we'll take the input by using scanf statement. Here we'll write percent %d, then comma, and person, and the variable name, which is n. And here inside the for loop, the first for loop, we'll write in place of 5n. And then let's run the program. You're asking me, enter the number of rows. Suppose 5. So it's displaying a pattern of 5 store. Now let's enter another number. Enter number of rows. Suppose 10. So it display star of 10 star. A uh, pattern of 10x. Now let's enter as a 50. So it is a display a pattern of 50 stars. Now if you want uh, another letter instead of x that one also you can change suppose i am writing here 8 so let's run the program enter the number of rows 20 so you see 28 here uh, 20 line of 8s arranged in a right uh, triangular form now let's come to the next program which is given in the book question b here we are displaying a pattern of triangle but opposite side let us to display this pattern so here what we are doing just changing the value of i in a descending form so we'll go to the first program whatever we have done this program here at first we are writing here one so instead of one we'll write here five then next line we'll write here four then it will be three only after that this line two then the last line will be 1. Now let's run the program. So the pattern came in opposite side. So to display, uh, to do the number 2, number B program, just you will change the value. We'll start from descending order. So we don't have to do anything uh, other. That's how we can do it. So here we should start from the J value should be at beginning N. <clears throat> and each time j equal j equal 1 
so here we will write the first program i equal n means we are starting from number of rows whatever fiber whatever then i greater than equal to 1 then we will decrease the value of i like i minus minus just we will do change of this much to do the program and the second loop will be same and here in paint f we will write the character whatever we want to display now let's run the program you are asking me number of rows five rows so you see the pattern in opposite direction now let's change the number of rows 12 rows so this way we can draw patterns by using loop in c i have displayed the long method this is the long method which is already given in book and this will be the short method where i am using nested for loop and in your book nested for loop is not used only all the shortcuts means uh, long cuts which is long way but it will be pretty much easier for you that one is used so you can go with the long method only or if you want you can do the short method also if you still have any confusions you can write in comment section and if you want this explanation in ask me write in comment i'll definitely i'll do it thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye